Chapter 585, Heavenly Demon Force Field, Penetrating Rainbow. Lin Ming gave a loud shot, opening the heretical god force to the limit. On the purple comet's beer, the concepts of thunder and fire began to unceasingly blend together. Man and spear became one, turning into a comet that smashed into the black barrier. Bang! The black barrier viciously trampled, under the impact of this unrivaled force. The black barrier completely shattered. Lin Ming ran out of the king's cage once more. Third, Lin Ming had continuously broken through three cages. To him, this wasn't too difficult. At this time, a fluid conscious thought entered into Lin Ming's mind once again, passing a wordless message to him. After breaking through the first three cages, that completes the basic test for a title jure and I can choose to leave after. Lin Ming saw that not too far away, a light appeared out of thin air. After a while, it actually formed into a transmission array. According to what he had just learned, he could leave the king's cage as long as he stepped into the transmission array. Should I leave the king's cage or continue practicing? Of course I'll continue. Lin Ming estimated that only four hours or so had passed since he entered. He certainly wouldn't leave so soon. Zayu, Zayu, Zayu. Beams of light fell down like rain, but this time they were no longer black. Instead, they were seven colored like a bright spring rainbow. Lin Ming could feel that there was a very big difference between the light from now and before. But how? He actually couldn't say. Interesting. As the rainbow light formed into a new king's cage around Lin Ming, his true essence constantly revolved within him. The heretical god force began to brilliantly burn. At night, within the special practice area of Sky Split Tower, dozens of golden seals were floating in the air. A cave told Imp was standing there, drawing with a red painted brush as he constantly drew new seals in space. The seals connected to each other, as if they were isolating an entire space. Behind this old imp was High Lorden. He was expressionlessly watching the old imp's actions, silent, until the black cape Tim finished drawing up the first section of seals. High Lord him then asked, Master Suoj, how long will the great spatial lockery you're laying down need to be completed? Around two days. The old imp said, Suoj was the greatest array master within the blood slaughter steps. He was simultaneously skilled in current array formations as well as having deeply studied ancient array formations. When Suoj was young he had suffered a grievous injury, causing the demon crystal within him to break. Although he had been able to maintain his life through liberal use of high-quality pills, his injury was too heavy, causing permanent damage that couldn't be restored. This caused his cultivation to be forever stranded within the demon king realm. Since it was hopeless for him to attempt further cultivating, Suoj used the remainder of his time to thoroughly research and analyze array formations. Through coincidence, he found his own lucky chance, obtaining a small portion of a legacy concerning ancient arrays. After studying them through meditation, his understanding of ancient arrays reached a very high level. Good. Then for these two days, I'll temporarily close this area away from the public so you can feel at ease while you lay down the array. There must not be any mistakes, of course. Suoj said as he returned to drawing the array. The dimension of the king's cage led to a transmission array in Sky Split Tower. After finishing with the smelting trial, a martial artist would need to pass through this transmission array in order to leave. This was an array formation that belonged to Sky Split Tower itself. Suoj naturally didn't have the ability to alter it. But, what he could do was use a roundabout way and block the surrounding space around the transmission array, trapping Lin Ming within the king's cage. Master Suoj, how long can this great spatial lock array be maintained for? High Lord Hun asked. Probably around four months. Four months is enough. High Lord Hun's lips curved up in a sinister smile. If Lin Ming was trapped in the king's cage for four months, then he didn't believe he would be able to return alive. Once the king's cage surpassed the limit that a martial artist could bear, it would turn into a life-threatening situation. Otherwise, martial artists would be given escape talismans. Even so, there had been many martial artists that had perished within the king's cage. For a title de jure to die within the king's cage. That would certainly be entertaining news, although this would arouse the suspicions of many people. High Lord Hun couldn't manage so many matters. High Lord Hun thought about it again and said, Master Suoj, could you return sometime within four months and reinforce the array formation again? I can. Suoj said, four months added with another four months, altogether eight months. Even if you are a true dragon, you will still die trapped within the king's cage. Time passed a day at a time, with Lin Ming being immersed in his practice. The notion of time had become blurred to him. Break. Lin Ming's spear thrust into the rainbow wall of light. The wall of light fiercely trembled. But after several breaths of shaking, it stopped without the slightest hint of damage on it. That one strike just now had contained all of Lin Ming's strength, but it hadn't even been able to cause a dent. Still, Lin Ming wasn't impatient. He began to quietly prepare his next attack. After such a long time in here, Lin Ming had finally discovered the rules of the king's cage. Breaking the king's cage didn't depend on a single strike to reach the standard that could break the cage. Rather, it looked at the total accumulated strike damage to measure whether it achieved the standard. It was like the cage itself had an invisible life value. Every attack against this barrier would consume a part of this value. When all of this value was depleted, then the cage would naturally break. At the critical point right before the peak, even a random punch would shatter the cage. In other words, as long as one had enough time, they could continuously break through these cages. Currently, Lin Ming had already been stuck inside these rainbow-colored walls of light for two or three days. However, as time passed, he began to discover that something suspicious was happening. This rainbow-colored cage began to be filled with an invisible energy field. At the beginning, this faint energy field only disturbed Lin Ming's inner true essence a little. Afterwards, with time, the energy field began to grow increasingly strong until it reached the point that it affected Lin Ming's entire body, forming a heavy pressure upon him, from his flesh to his organs, meridians, donchen, everything was enveloped in this heavy pressure, his heartbeat became heavier, 
and the blood in his veins seemed to flow like molasses. Even his true essence circulation was no longer smoothly traveling through his meridians. Even a breath took more effort than normal. After some time, even Lin Ming's soul came under its effect. Lin Ming was startled. He felt that this invisible energy field had already penetrated deep into his spiritual sea where it began to intensely collide with the black vortex of a samsara martial intent. What is this? Lin Ming had never experienced such a strange energy field like this. At this moment, a voice appeared in Lin Ming's mind. This is the heavenly demon martial intent. What? Heavenly demon martial intent. Lin Ming was shocked. After one became a twelve-winged heavenly demon, they could obtain the heavenly demon martial intent. Once this special martial intent activated, it could form a domain around the possessor. This was the so-called force field. Every time someone stepped into this domain, they would come under the influence of this force field, only able to use 50 to 60 percent of their full strength. The weaker one was, the greater the effects of the heavenly demon martial intent would be on them. I see, so that's how it is. The heavenly demon martial intent creates pressure on a person's body and soul. Thus, this would influence as a martial artist's strength. If a martial artist was particularly weak, then they wouldn't be able to withstand entering this energy field, and would vomit blood or even die. If someone was enveloped by this energy field and had to constantly attack with all of their effort, then the load on their muscles, meridians, and organs could be imagined. No wonder some martial artists can only last for several days. Lin Ming was suddenly enlightened. In this case, if a martial artist had to squeeze out all of their potential to the limit, their harvests would be great if they could withstand it. But, if they couldn't then it wasn't a surprise if they died. After withstanding this pressure, Lin Ming attacked the rainbow-colored cage again and again. Because the flow of his true essence was hindered, every attack consumed much more energy than before. With the constant increasing of the energy field's pressure, he felt his body becoming notably heavy, and from his head to his toes, every place felt uncomfortable. Bang, 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 bang. On the rainbow-colored barrier, the light of thunder and fire coalescing together blazed brilliantly. But in this non-stop attack, Lin Ming discovered that under this great pressure, the benefits he received were much greater than what he imagined they would be. If a martial artist's meridians were a canal and a dungeon was the source of water, then the muscles, skeletons, and organs were the farmland that needed to be irrigated. After reaching the Xianchen realm, whether a martial artist was cultivating or attacking, the Aku points throughout their body would be constantly absorbing heaven and earth origin energy, gathering it into the dungeon before releasing it into the meridians where it spread throughout the body. This sort of passive method of transportation had a considerable limitation, and that was no matter what happened, it was difficult for the heaven and earth origin energy to penetrate deep into every part of the body. Normally, whether it was combat or practice, even if the body's energy was consumed to the limit and one was incomparably exhausted, there would always be some Aku points and meridians that weren't used. If the body didn't thoroughly experience this, then it would affect one's foundation, interfering with the growth of their strength. But this heavenly demon martial intent energy field was different. This force field was a wondrous state. Not only was it formless and invisible, but it could easily penetrate into every tiny cell within the body. Not even hair would be left out. Heartbeat, blood flow, muscles, skeleton, marrow, meridians, every part of the body no matter how small had to overcome the suppression of this energy field. They would need to autonomously absorb true essence and also use that true essence. This process was an exceedingly good experience. In this energy field, even if one stood stock still, it would still be a form of practice, much less now when one had to make all sorts of high-intensity attacks under extreme conditions. The benefits to the body were massive. Not only would the essence gathering system be tempered, but the body transformation system was the same. As for someone like Lin Ming who had a dual cultivation of energy and body, this was simply a paradisiacal environment. After realizing this, Lin Ming became thrilled. His attacks became increasingly swift and fierce. As spear lights kept thrusting towards a single point, Lin Ming opened the heretical god force as he combusted the blood of the ancient phoenix. With his entire body having to withstand this massive pressure as well as the crazy amount of true essence absorption, this sudden and intense change caused some of the blood vessels near the surface of his skin to directly burst open. No stopping here. Bang. With a thunderous explosion, the entire rainbow-colored cage shattered like glass. Lin Ming gasped, dragging in deep breaths. Some of the muscles on his arms were torn open and dripping with blood. He had consumed 70 to 80 percent of his true essence and his body was terribly tired. However, the advantages he obtained were great. He discovered that unconsciously, his late Xianchen realm cultivation was becoming more stabilized. He had begun to take steps towards the extreme Xianchen realm.